Hello guys, welcome back to my channel RK Algopai and this is RK from RK Algopai So yeah, as promised, uh, like uh, I'm going to create a new video uh, like how to run a Python Algo in AWS server or any server of your choice but uh, here I'll be explaining how to run it on AWS server okay since uh, like uh, if you have if you would have gone through my like first two videos you would have uh, and uh, you would be able to create your own algo and if not uh, like you can ping me i've given the description uh, i've given my telegram link uh, on the video you can just go to the description and you can click on this link and you can directly ping me if you have any queries or any doubts and uh, or else if you are facing any issues okay so yeah uh, so uh, like uh, I'm assuming that you guys are ready with your Python script or Python algo and you guys are ready to execute it but now you would be facing a lot of challenge to execute in your uh, local machine you uh, like uh, if you want to execute it here you can go to spider or you can go to terminal here uh, terminal if you have mac os then terminal uh, or if you have windows then you have to go to uh, command prompt and from there you can very much execute it but yeah like this is not possible in daily case scenario and there are other challenges as well uh, like uh, and, um, you might face some internet connectivity issue you might face some electricity uh, connectivity issue or uh, sometimes what happens like uh, this uh, your uh, python script stops uh, like your web socket uh, stops due to internet issue so like this is not at all possible to run it in your local machine if you are uh, executing algo in real time if you are executing algo uh, in the real market because uh, like you don't want to face any uh, losses due to your the execution error right so it's always advisable to get a server to get a virtual machine i would say and execute it there and like they will be, they will be providing you internet they will be providing you almost everything you don't have to worry about everything and yeah it's free free for first year uh, like aws server is free for first year uh, okay so for the first year you can very much run it for free and then from next year onwards you can create a new account if they're still providing it for free you can create a new account and run it again if they are not then try to look for some other servers okay other web services provider so yeah what i would do now like to get a aws virtual machine you have to go to aws console first uh, let's go to aws console okay so click on this link aws console then uh, if you are first time user you have to create a new account okay so and that is a very basic thing uh, like you just have to give your details and fill up your all the details and your credit card number that is that might be required or might not be required i think aws doesn't ask for your credit card if you don't have uh, you can go for a student account okay so just create an account okay so i already have an account and uh, that's an easy process i mean i don't feel like uh, explaining it here so yeah i'm just logging in into my aws console so yeah so this is aws aws what is aws aws is amazon web services it provides all the services that is required for uh, web building okay uh, any kind of uh, internet website or any kind of server it provides a lot of services if you want to check what all services it provides you can go to services and there are so many things so many services are there okay but we are not bothered about these things we just need a virtual machine we just need a server to run our python script and that is pretty basic 
thing here okay so go to services go to ec2 okay ec2 is what uh, as uh, like you would be able to see here uh, virtual server in the cloud okay so ec2 is nothing but elastic comp uh, computing um, something right so yeah it's a on a basic layman term it's a virtual server click on ec2 okay since i'm already using uh, my account i already have one uh, virtual server but still i'm gonna create a new one to show you all uh, to show you guys okay so yeah now i'm in ac2 console okay you can see it here okay so yeah i'll go to ac2 um, uh, dashboard okay sorry i'm already in ac i'll go to instances okay so uh, as you can see these are the instances instances are nothing but ec2 instances and that is nothing but your virtual servers okay so uh, as of now i have two servers okay i have already put a order for uh, terminating this server so you can just ignore it and this is my actual server which is running in uh, uh, like which is running and i am executing my algo on this servers server okay so yeah so i'll be creating a new instance instance when i say instance means a new uh, virtual machine okay when i say ec2 you again have to understand that i'm talking about a virtual machine okay and yeah uh, there are a lot of things in uh, AC, uh, sorry aws uh, web services but i'm not covering anything uh, i'm just covering how to get, covering how to get a, a virtual server okay so yeah go to instances then launch uh, launch instance okay so now uh, you can see uh, when i click launch instance i am getting these many options here what is this these are kind of computers aws provides you okay so if you want amazon linux 2 ami machine you can select it if you want red hat machine you can select it if you want asus linux or you can select it okay but yeah like make sure you are selecting only free tier eligible server okay so i'll be uh, selecting ubuntu servers because like i'm most comfortable with uh, ubuntu mm, uh, like uh, okay so you can select windows as well but there's no issue but uh, yeah i would recommend you to select uh, ubuntu server okay so yeah just go and select it what you are doing you are just ordering a ubuntu server for uh, for yourself okay so when you select it these are the various kind of machines under ubuntu servers okay and all other uh, all are all of them are chargeable uh, like these these uh, these machines are not free these are the configuration what do you want this is the type and this is the virtual cpu how many virtual cpus will be available on that machine how many memories will be there what how many storage how much uh, storage will uh, like what kind of uh, storage will be there okay so uh, what we are doing we are going for free tier eligible machine okay that is t2 micro it will have one virtual machine okay just uh, review and launch it okay you, they are asking you the details to verify fine Okay, once again, mm -hmm. okay, let's launch it. Okay, yeah. So uh, after clicking on launch, I'm getting an option to create a, a key pair. So I, I can either choose an existing key pair or I, I can create a new key pair. What is key pair? Key pair is required to access your virtual machine from any public place. Okay. So go and create a new pair since you are the like you are the first time user of this. You have to create a new key pair. And I'll just name the queue uh, like key pair to demo key. Okay and don't forget to download it this is uh, like very necessary thing for you to access your machine so you have to download it and save it in some like uh, save, save it somewhere where you can remember like where you have kept it so i'm downloading it uh, demo key dot pm 
okay now launch instance okay so uh, like I, I got a pop-up saying your instance are now launching fine so view launch log oh I don't want to view my launch log okay so here you will get options to view instances or else you can just go to home and click on instances you will get the ec2 dashboard you will get the dashboard so this is my latest uh, virtual machine this is the instance id okay if you select it okay so this is still in pending status it's actually um, uh, yeah it's actually still launching let's wait for some time and how you can verify that this is your uh, recently created uh, machine by key name okay see here this is my first machine that I kept key name as Ubuntu EC2 this is just ignore it and this is demo grid that I just created okay so let's see if it is yeah so now it's been running okay so I guess this is uh, very much available to me. I'm just refreshing it to get the, yeah. So now you have your machine running in cloud. Okay, you have your virtual machine running in cloud. Okay, and that has one virtual CPU. Okay, nothing more uh, like uh, is required as of now to know. Okay, just click on this clicking on this means you have selected this instance now go to action no go to uh, connect okay you can connect any of the instance but since this is the uh, newly created uh, oh sorry this one yeah i'm sorry so this is the newly created uh, instance okay i can verify it by my key name Okay, I'm just going to connect it. So after clicking on connect, you are you will be getting three options how to connect to your virtual machines. So EC2 instance connect that is the web based connection. Okay, you can just go and click on connect. You will be connected. And session manager that is not recommendable. And SSS client you can very much connect it through your terminal if you are using a mac os and uh, if you you are using a windows system you have to download putty and uh, you have to connect it to your server okay so like to save uh, time here i'll be connecting through web okay just click on connect so yeah so you can see that I am connected and uh, like this is the terminal of that virtual machine okay if you see this is the newly created system and there won't be anything if you if I give ls ls means uh, locate to something uh, I just forgot it it will show all the files which are present here okay so no, no more tension like uh, you are connected to your uh, um, new instance okay so let's check whether uh, this machine already has python or you have to install it so just click on uh, just type python 3 and yeah uh, 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 like a python console has been opened just uh, test it with uh, printing something let's hello 2021 okay and yeah it printed right so yeah uh, we made sure that we have python in our system let's quit the terminal okay done now uh, like how will you transfer your file your python script file your python algo file to this server okay because to uh, okay let's create a py python uh, file here so to create a file you can uh, very much create it with touch command touch test dot py okay now ls you will see uh, you have your test dot py file nano nano is just an editor to edit this file okay uh, after giving t you can give tab to complete the file and enter it has opened uh, this uh, test dot py file 
here I'll be giving print I am from uh, test dot py file okay let's okay uh, so I'm just giving a print command okay and now I like uh, uh, sorry exit uh, from this file so to exit you have to give control X here you can see to exit you have to just give control X okay control X then save modified buffer you have to give Y okay done so now give ls to see all the files you have test files now give cat dot test cat to see the file okay so see uh, it had opened file and showed me like what are written on that file okay so let's execute that let's execute this test dot file okay so to execute we have to give python 3 test dot py and yeah it printed right i am from test dot py file okay done so let's let's quit this terminal as of now sorry to quit we have to give exit uh, 